voice fully start are the voices on? The voices are on, yes. Um, except okay. Riki and the narration. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, um... If... Yep. <laughs> Am I starting? No, no, no it's, it's this one's voice. The only oh, thing I that's see. not voice is the narration and Riki. Um, so we'll have Neru play Riki and you as the announcer. I'll do the controls. Okay. Sound good? <clears throat> okay. All right. A distant voice roused me from my slumber. The meaning of the words was obscured by my drowsiness. However, a voice quivering with joy woke me up fully. With rushed breath, the owner of the voice jumped down to the floor. Masato, where are you going at this hour? I asked timidly. It's a fight. Huh? This late at night? Where? Right here. With his thumb down, he pointed to the floor. Leaving with a daring smile, Masato swung the door open and flew out the room. <laughs> right here. Does he mean the dorm? Blah. I jumped to my feet upon realizing that and chased after Masato into the corridor. I could hear the sound of tables being overturned in the distance. There was a crowd at the entrance of the cafeteria jostling their way inside. I peeked in and sure enough, there was a fight. On one side was Masato Inohara, my roommate. Across from him, wearing a hakama, was Kengo Miyazawa. Also chat, let us know if you can hear us okay along with the music and everything. Both of them were my childhood friends. Yeah, Mo, if you're coming into this blind, that's the best way to come into it. Really? <laughs> uh, they had always been like oil and water, fighting whenever their opinions differed. Masato started attacking. Twisting his body for momentum, he threw a heavy punch. Kengo dodged narrowly. Bang! And behind him lay a cracked desk. Uh, it's oh, it's it's voice, yeah. I can't hear it, so. Here, I'll put it on. Yeah, you can watch the stream if you want. This one's narration, by the way. Okay. I heard someone start an off, uh, start an offhand comment. Now was Kengo's turn, turn to counterattack. In his hands, he gripped his shinai. His hand movement was only visible for an instant. Kengo's attack had drawn a cross-shaped cut on Masato's chest. Trying to write melancholy? That's a hard country to write, that is. Those are synonyms. Yeah. There are way more characters! 16 strokes, I think. Yeah, that's a lot of strokes. A strange upheaval passed through the room as those wild speculations spread around. Can't anyone stop this? I appealed to the onlookers. <laughs> Their fights on the campus had already turned into an attraction. Things will get even worse if we leave them alone. I don't know what happened between those two, but they look serious this time. They might hurt themselves badly. Eh? <laughs> uh, that's true. Unprepared for that, I flinched. The more I thought about it, the more responsible I felt for my two friends. But when I saw the menacing gleam in their eyes, I got scared. I just want to say, I love how there's like... This guy right here was like wearing a casual shirt, and then everybody else is wearing a school uniform. Uh, I agree. Mm -hmm. uh, while scanning the premises, trying to think of a good excuse to stop them, I remembered about Kyosuke. The reason they were fighting with each other in the first place was because Kyosuke had returned. Where's Kyosuke? Huh? Ah, uh, Azoko. 
He pointed at Kyosuke, who was sleeping on his back like a drunkard. <laughs> I ran up to him and shook him by the shoulders. Kyosuke, it's getting out of hand. You've got to make those two stop. He opened his eyes halfway. Are you sure we shouldn't be voicing the, those lines? The characters are Japanese voiced. Right, but should we say it in English? Um, we could get that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, you can be Kyosuke if you want, if that's the case. Alright. Uh, I, took, I okay. took a closer look at his uniform and found leaves and dirt all over his body. Where on earth had he been, I wondered. Putting that aside, the real problem right now was the fight between Masato and Kengo. Masato and Kengo are fighting again since you're back. Watch over them so they don't get hurt. They kept patient until you came back. That was one of the several promises that we had made. Serious fights were prohibited when Kyosuke was not around, but when he was, he could me mediate. It might be that he'd set such rules out of consideration for us four childish friends, or maybe he just wanted to look cool as the oldest of us four. But in the end, none of us could ever go against him. It had always been like that. Whoever opposed Kyosuke would end up eating dirt. I wasn't sure if his concerns had turned into reality or if he was capable of foreseeing what would happen. Whatever the reason was, that was the reason our childhood friendship had stayed unbreakable all this time. Kyosuke! I kept shaking his body. Fine. Pushing me aside with, uh, with his hand, he wearily stood up. I'll decide on the rules. In barehanded fighting, Masato is too strong. Conversely, Kengo becomes too strong when he uses his shinai. Hi, sir. Are you dateable? So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome to the husbando of little busters. <laughs> he turned to face the onlookers. You guys over there, throw in whatever you can find that somehow resembles a weapon. The more worthless, the better. He turned his back towards Misato and Kengo. And whatever you can grab will be your weapon. Since you'll be using some useless item instead of a shinai or bare hand, there won't be much danger. Got it? His presence didn't give any room for objection, and everyone around him just nodded in agreement. Then, battle start! For a while the onlookers were perplexed, but then someone threw in something and that had the effect of a starting gun. Immediately, a rain of random items began falling upon Masato and Kengo. You up for this? You betcha. <laughs> Kengo glanced down at the pile of items the onlookers were dumping in front of him. Focusing his full attention on the pile, he thrust his hand into the middle of the items. Whoosh! He then drew something out of there. The moment he had chosen his weapon, the entire crowd shouted with excitement. What is that? Pistol? He pointed it towards the ceiling and pulled the metal trigger. We heard a noise and a small silver pellet fell in front of everyone. Is it okay if I hit him with this? No. Use it how it's meant to be used. With Kengo's weapon decided, all eyes turned towards Masato. With a strange thing dangling from his arm, he was standing still with a confused look in his eyes. Why are you holding a cat? It's my weapon. <laughs> yep, a cat is his weapon. <laughs> With this cat. Nani? What? I said it's my weapon. Got a problem? I mean, how am I ever going to fight with this? You must use the cat to fight. What's with that? Ding ding! Someone seemed to have brought a boxing bell and now rang it. Because that's what you keep in your dorm room. <laughs> no, <that's... laughs> right? 
The lovable straight muscle idiot. Masato Inohara. <laughs> Where's this Kengo? Wait, they actually fight in this game? Yep. <laughs> there I go. Kengo's attacks. Oh, wow. Whoa. It's a full RPG battle. Yep. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Look at me, I'll aim for your eyes. Stop, tick, tick, what the? Sir, he can't. Ah, go! Mazui, Tamagiri da. Out of pellets. Reloads the pest of the pistol. Ima da, he can't. Arara! Tick, kore. Is this allowed? <laughs> Why is the cat fighting rather than me? <laughs> Are we not gonna you are we not gonna listen to the fact that Masato said ara ara? Ara <laughs> Okay, you're right. Oh, they have so much health. I got this one. A voice louder than the onlookers cheered echo uh, cheers echoed within the room. I knew only one person in this world who could shout like that. The two fighters' movement stopped as they heard the angry voice. Oh, Look, Rinsama disappeared. The onlookers became excited in a blink. The girl was Rin Natsume, Josuke's younger sister. She was another one of my childhood friends. Stop bullying the weakling! Weakling? Which one? Ain't that you? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Can't you see the difference in our levels? <laughs> I wonder if you can still say that after the fight's over. <laughs> Go, my loyal fleet feline servant. <laughs> I met that cat! Died. Ah, oh, this. His neck had been bent at an unnatural angle by Rin's high kick, and the cat dangled from his arms as he replied. Explain. Someone threw it to me. <laughs> I saw Kyosuke do it. The male student had witnessed seeing the cat being tossed. Kyosuke himself was now snoring, lying on his back. <laughs> Kyosuke just falling asleep out of all of this. <laughs> it's Kyosuke's fault. <sighs> Me, I'm asleep. <laughs> I don't see. <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> then it's mine. She took the cat. Oh, Hey, that's my weapon. So get me a new cat, an especially ferocious one. <laughs> no using cats. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just not even. Okay. Okay. Her kick had bent his neck at an even more abnormal angle. So, what's the reason for this fight? Okay, listen, Rin. Saying that, he pointed at Kengo. This guy told me a fake proverb that goes, The burdock fell from my eyes. <laughs> All thanks to you. I was like, yeah, the bird off fell from my eyes in a casual conversation today. <laughs> you made me look stupid. <laughs> what a silly reason. Dumbass, remember? You're the one who came to me and asked what the bird off fell from my eyes means. I thought you meant the scales fell from my eyes. So I told you it meant to suddenly understand the truth. <laughs> you should have told me I was wrong. <laughs> what the hell is the burdock fell from my eyes? I had no such obligation. What? How long have we been friends? You should have shown some compassion. Rin, Rin. it's clear who's at fault here. Kengo had already calmed down since he'd lost his fighting spirit. He chucked away the pallet gun and decided to leave. What? Running away, are you? He tried running after him, but stopped and looked at Rin. Rin, that's my weapon. Give it back. Request denied. Rin and Masato confronted each other. 
This was enough to make the onlookers excited again. What? You want in on this, Rin? People who toy around with cats like that must be punished. It felt as though the crowd was goading them into it with their cheers. I'm not gonna go easy on you just because you're a girl. <laughs> Give me the nearest weapon! Having already prepared, people starting throwing in a magnificent variety of items. This! Rin's hook? A three section staff? Then I'll take this one! Masato grab? And eel pie? Hold on, hold on a second. That's a real weapon you've got, isn't it? Ding! Prideful Kiffin doesn't easily take to others. Vital! This isn't gonna end well. <laughs> oh, her stats are much lower. Yeah, but. <laughs> 207 damage. Strikes with the eel pie. No ah! doubt. The eel pie breaks. <laughs> Nucky pie! The eel pie! Come on, she didn't even eat it. F in the chats for the eel pie. <laughs> <laughs> K.O. Lots of people were raising cheers to Rin. Is this Little Busters? Yes, this is. I separated myself from the crowd, dumbfounded by the outcome. This was not the first time such an otherworldly scene had occurred. From the first day I'd met them as a kid, every day had been like this. I'm sorry, Those bud. have been the roughest days of my life. My life after I'd lost my parents. Every day of my life had been depressing. But in front of me, four boys had appeared and one had held out his hand. There's a formidable enemy. We need your power. What's your name? Riki Naoi. Yes. Riki. Okay. Let's go, Riki! He grabbed my hand and pulled me along as he started running. Uh, hey, who are you? I asked him, desperately clinging onto his hand to prevent myself from falling. Who are we? We punish evil and preserve justice. We are called... Little Busters! Roll credits! <laughs> Roll credits! <laughs> I did it. We beat the game. We congratulations. <laughs> a broad grin split his face as he spoke the name. The enemy was a beehive under a tree at a neighborhood house. Uh oh. No doubt, it was a formidable enemy. A bamboo pole and an insecticide were our only weapons of choice. The hive had eventually realized the gravity of the situation and launched forth a swarm of bees that darkened the air around it. We were about to be defeated when abruptly, Masato stripped off his jacket, even now I can't tell why, and spread honey on his bare skin for a faint. <laughs> I leave the rest to you all. He said, giving the four of us thumbs up with a sharp war cry, he resolutely kept thrusting into the enemy camp. Masato's Stop amazing. Thrusting, you're like a baby. <laughs> of course, countless bees had swarmed on Masato. When Kengo had pointed his insecticide spray towards Masato, Kyosuke had held a lighter directly below. Masato, <laughs> Masato we won't forget your sacrifice! <laughs> oh my God. He declared it at the same time they fired the spray towards Masato's body, which turned him into a pillar of flames. Oh my God. Oh no. <laughs> 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 ah, I didn't ask for that kind of assistance! <laughs> The sight of his blazing shape plunging, uh, plunging in his deeply engraved into my mind. Immediately after his exclamation, Rin, who I'd been thinking was a boy, kicked him into unconsciousness. The scene of her kept rolling, kept him rolling consciously on the ground by 
Kicking him is also memorable. Thanks to her, the fire was extinguished and Posato survived. After that, so a fire truck and an ambulance came and made a lot of fuss. Yeah? A lot of fuss? <laughs> The next day, our local newspaper had a picture of me and the four elementary school students I'd met. Okay, so I can press the space bar if you guys want to see that picture. <laughs> Look pretty, at Masato! That's pretty Help good. Him. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> this was our first encounter, and it seems like the racket was the beginning of my new life. And always being with them had made the pain in my heart go away without me realizing it. It was just so fun. If only such times could continue forever. That was all I wished for now. Uh, Cute the opening... babies. Oh. Cute babies. Yep. <laughs> Come next morning, it was obvious I hadn't gotten him some sleep. However, Misato was different and had already awoken. From the window, I could see him doing weight training in the small garden. I was amazed by his energy. We went to the cafeteria together to eat breakfast. With the other students getting up as well, the cafeteria was filled to the brim. I like how all the students in the back look like real ass people. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Still, our seats were empty. I just love how that one student is the only one not wearing a freaking uniform. It's like a casual t-shirt. Yeah. Because Kengo had arrived before us and saved some seats for us. <laughs> or more precisely, I guess he hadn't intended to. It's just that most people who know knew us treat us as troublemakers and often avoid sitting around us. I wonder why. Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> wonder why indeed. Yo, morning. Ah, ohio. Ah, oh, morning. Morning. Still up. You're up early. Having finished our short greetings, we placed our breakfast trays on the table. Soon after, Kyosuke appeared and took a seat. Peace. Oi. Oh. Ah. Where did you go? Oh, uh, oh. Uh, to the publishers. Tokyo, right? So, Tokyo. Yeah, Tokyo. By foot? So, Tokyo. Yeah, by foot. Must have been tough. <laughs> tough or uh, ah, hold on, idiot. I don't have much money. Nothing I can do. What a mood. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys will do the same thing next year, too. At the, At the very, very least... least... Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At the very least, we're not planning on doing our job hunting on foot. He's not wrong. Finally, Rin appeared. With the cat she'd found yesterday perched on her shoulder, she entered the cafeteria. Kitty, kitty. I like how this school allows cats. <laughs> Oops, However, apparently. more cats followed her in. She kept pushing them back outside, but they repeatedly <laughs> entered again and again. <laughs> that was terrible, but I hit it. <laughs> That's adorable. Suddenly faced with Rin's vehement hissing, the cats finally got scared and ran off. She sighed while taking a seat. Uh, <laughs> we have a new member. I hope it's the cat. We know. <laughs> After informing us, she poured some milk on a plate. Got a name? Not yet. Name's an important thing. Give it one properly. But I can't think of any more. I love how the cat's just changing position in each sprite. <laughs> For real. Crawling all over. <laughs> With every opportunity, Kyosuke would gather stray cats and give them to Rin as presents. So now she was surrounded by a veritable herd of cats. But that many are impossible to manage at once, so she decided to just look after the newest cat. <laughs> then, I guess I'll have to name it. Leno. Lennon. Did you even think about it at all? He had another famous name. <laughs> you said it's important, but you never choose proper names. 
Since Kyosuke always names the cats without thinking, they all have very famous names. Oh no! Einstein, oh, no. Gates, oh, Hitler. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <to> the poor <laughs> <The> cat! <laughs> Kyosuke, why? <laughs> It's not the name that's important. I said giving them a name is. <laughs> I, I guess. I can't. With, I can't with this stupid. <laughs> he has a point. <laughs> huh? What's the difference? Wow, you two have a lot in common, then, don't you? <laughs> but it's cute. I guess Rin doesn't know the origin of the name. But certainly, Lennon sounds a lot more appropriate pet name than Einstein, Gates, or Hitler. Especially Hitler. <laughs> oh my Can he eat this? Oh, <laughs> uh, he eats seaweed. Don't feed him that, you idiot! This, this definitely looks tasty. The cafeteria cooks always give female students a cup of jelly as a dessert. She tried feeding it to him. Are you giving proper thought to what the cat can eat? <laughs> Our words were lost on Rin, who was absorbed in observing the cat holding the small cup with a spore paw and pulling it under its nose. Don't you ever speak to me or my son ever again. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> it seems that she doesn't care just as long as the cat looks cute eating it. No, I'm not sure she'd never say so herself. Can drink miso soup? Try Can it you out. guys stop trying to kill this kid? <laughs> <laughs> wow, he really is like you, John. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. <laughs> she hissed. How about some grass? This time, Masato held a baron sheet out to it. It seemed that everybody had already completely forgotten about what happened yesterday. But that was our everyday life, so they were probably used to it. I alone found myself puzzled by the difference in our sense of values. It always been like this, ever since the day we met. Nothing had changed. However, even as I was confused, I could only smile as I reflected on the past. I realized that despite my bewilderment, I was still having fun. Then, I wished once again. I wish such pleasant times could continue forever.